Yo, what is up guys? My name is Red Cloud. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to optimize and increase your FPS for League of Legends. Now I know League of Legends is not the hardest game to run, but a lot of people seem to have a lot of issues with either FPS drops, sometimes lag, or in general, just like their rig just isn't performing as good as it should. And I hope that these tips are able to help you guys today. If it is, be sure to give it a like on the video as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're 200 subs away from partnered here on YouTube and I would seriously appreciate it. I'm live every day at twitch.tv slash redcloud if you guys want to check me out over there. I do play League of Legends a little bit and I do play with my viewers all the time. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would check it out. Anyways guys, with further ado, let's get into the video. So... First things first, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our league and we're going to be changing some settings on the files there. So first thing, Windows key, uh, we're going to type File Explorer. And if you guys don't know where League of Legends is installed, usually it's either on your SSD or hard drive, depending on which one you chose. Um, for me, it is on my SSD, so I'm going to go to Riot Games. I'm going to press um, and click on the League of Legends folder right here all right guys so now that we're in this folder what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down over to the league client i'm going to right click it go to properties and we're going to make sure that uh, compatibility is selected and then we're going to go to uh, disable full screen optimizations run this program as an administrator and then change high dpi settings and then here we're going to go to high dpi scaling override and go to override high dpi scaling behavior and we're going to leave this on application, press OK, and press apply. Once that's set up, lead client will be optimized. We're going to do the same thing for the UX as well as the renderer. So compatibility, run this program as administrator, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, click that application, press apply. Same thing here with the renderer, compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, Run this program as administrator, change high DPI settings, override application, press OK, press apply, but bam. All right, so that's as far as files go when it comes to league optimization. The full screen optimization stuff really helps out a lot, especially with input lag. By the way, guys, for the next optimization tip, you will need to be on the latest up-to-date windows. So if you guys don't know, go to your windows key, press update, check for updates right here. For the tip, we're going to press windows key. And then we're going to type graphics settings. And then once we have gotten to this point, we will go to browse. And then we're going to go to where our Riot client was installed, League of Legends, right over here. Go to League Client. And you, you could do this for all three of these. I'm only going to do it for the one, um, just as an example. And we're going to hit options and we're going to go to high performance. Sometimes what happens is the League of Legends, it doesn't know what to use as far as graphics cards go, especially if you have two graphics cards like I do, integrated graphics and a dedicated card. So sometimes what ends up happening is that Windows ends up deciding on power saving, especially if you don't have uh, on the next tip, the proper power setting selected. So we're going to hit save and now League of Legends will be on high performance setting. So that's going to be fantastic for us. That way we get more bang for our buck when it comes to League of Legends. That tip segues into this tip, which is a uh, tip for unlocking an ultimate performance plan on your computer. We're going to go to command prompt. All right guys, once you guys have gotten to the command prompt, what you'll do is in the description of this video, there is a string of text that you can copy paste into here. And what will it will do after you press enter, it will add an ultimate performance setting on your computer. Um, I am not going to do it because I've made a few of these videos and every time I input this stream of text, it adds another power plan option to my computer, which is not a bad thing. It has no effect on the computer whatsoever. It's just that if you go to power and sleep settings, which is the next thing, the next step that you would do, uh, you would go to additional power settings and you'll see I have five of these ultimate performances already enabled. So I've done this a few times, so completely safe to use. Um, if you guys uh, want to use Power Saver, obviously your computer might use an integrated graphics card, so that's on you. High Performance is also a really good one if you don't want to use a string of text. I use Ultimate Performance on all my computers and all of them have been perfectly fine. 
So definitely not stressing about that. The other thing that you guys can do is you can go to game mode settings and make sure that it is enabled, but disable captures as well as the game bar. And the other thing that you can also do after that is go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience and make sure that NVIDIA GeForce highlights are turned off. And if you don't know how to do that, I will show you guys right now. We'll go to general and then we're going to go down to end game overlay and you're going to disable that and bam, that's it. All you have to do is disable that and it will stop NVIDIA from auto recording gameplay as well as using, you know, a clipping software in there so that you guys don't get messed up on um, your write speed and stuff like that. The other thing that you guys should do is also update your graphics card, which is a great segue into this. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience obviously is for NVIDIA cards, AMD, Radeon, um, I believe it's Adrenaline is for AMD cards. If you guys don't know, I already have a video of that. It is up on the screen right now. You guys can click that for the best up-to-date drivers on AMD as well as the best settings for AMD. All right, guys. So once you guys have updated your drivers as well as updated Windows and did all of the configurations for Windows as well as game and power settings and all that stuff it's time to get into the league client itself all right guys so once you guys have launched your league of legends client one of the most important things that i always tell people especially i was helping my little brother not too long ago he was trying to get into league for a bit and he actually has a laptop so one of the things that i helped him get 60 fps on league was enabling low spec mode which basically reduces how good the game looks but your performance is increased quite a bit and it helped him achieve 60 fps while he was barely getting 30 so that was really important for him um especially this one close client during game this is very important because it uses ram and obviously your cpu to be running this program in the background while you are also running the game so definitely enable both of these so that all this stuff really helps you out a ton as well as sound, you guys can disable sound uh, because actually enabling sound and enabling music uses your CPU, if you guys didn't know that. So I always take off sound. I don't play League with sound in general um, because I generally speaking, you know, am listening to music or whatever it may be. Um, so that's why I don't use it. And for sound here as well and um, you can disable all sound down here. Like I said, disabling all sound may improve performance. So that's one thing that I always do. All right, guys. So we're in the practice tool. What we're going to do here is we're going to mess with our in-game settings so that we can get the best FPS possible for our computers. First, I'm going to go with low-end PCs and everybody who's here for a low-end computer. What you guys are going to want to do, the most important thing, is disable anti-aliasing and frame rate cap. Set that to 60. That way your FPS doesn't go past this, which means that your computer won't get pushed harder than it needs to. And it'll use the resources that are available to only putting 60 FPS into your game. This will help out a lot so you guys don't get frame drops as well as lag spikes and stuff like that. Because the more you fluctuate your FPS, especially on a lower end PC, the higher you'll have a risk of having bottlenecking as well as lag spikes. So. If you guys are on a low end PC, put this on 60 as well as this is subjective, but not really. If you guys put this all the way low um, and you get 60 FPS, that's great. Obviously, your game obviously is not going to look that good, though. So I suggest increasing the slider as much and as high as possible until you get that consist consistent 60 FPS, even while in team fights and stuff like that. So if you guys notice, we're, up to, we're upping our performance and we're upping our quality of the game and we're still getting 60 FPS. So I'd say this is perfectly acceptable for me. I don't mind using this game on very low, on low at all. I think it looks perfectly fine. Uh, for me, I personally use 1920 by 1080. If you're still struggling to get 60 FPS, turn this down to 720p or 1600 by 900 or the lowest resolution that you're comfortable with as well as use full screen because full screen is the best way to get your monitors true refresh rate as well as getting the best amount of performance out of your game um, also disable screen shake is really important as well because that way uh, your game isn't like freaking out on you every time you go into a fight 
so those are the settings that i use if i was struggling to get you know fps the next thing that you're going to want to do if you have an 144 hertz monitor is take your fps to 144 fps as well as increase your quality because that way you use more of your virtual memory on your graphics card and that is going to push your graphics card a little bit harder so that you're able to consistently get that 144 fps and if you're a super try hard like most people are who play league um you should use 240 or uncapped i personally use uncapped when i play and i use medium settings um if you guys want to get better fps while on medium settings you can take off shadows i think that shadows are completely unnecessary in this game um as well as the environment quality you can leave it medium or put this to low i find that there's literally no difference between low and medium but for effects quality um you could keep this on medium and character quality you can actually turn this to very high if you'd like to uh, i personally feel like most of the time these settings really help me just get the best amount of fps possible i usually am always sitting about always like 200 plus fps while playing the game all right guys i hope this video guys helped you guys out a lot if it did be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the youtube channel and also check out my stream. I'm live every day at twitch.tv slash redcloud. I definitely would appreciate it. We're almost at partner here on YouTube and I'd seriously appreciate it so much. As well as join our Discord. We're super active on there. Sometimes we have movie nights. Just yesterday we watched Home Alone. So if you guys want to be a part of a great community, definitely be sure to check out our Discord as well as check me out on Twitch. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.